When you're infected with the coronavirus, the disease you develop is COVID-19, an acute respiratory disorder that can cause your lungs to fail. Your lungs bring in the oxygen that your body needs to run and expel the carbon dioxide you create. When the coronavirus attacks the cells that line your throat and lungs, it makes it hard for your lungs to do their job. Patients who can no longer breathe on their own require intubation. So intubation is the actual process of inserting a breathing tube into somebody's mouth. That tube is hooked up to one of those ventilators you keep hearing so much about. Intubation can protect someone's airway or secure their airway. Now, what are you intubated with? When you're intubated, there is a tube that goes inside somebody's mouth. This is called the endotracheal tube because it goes in your trachea. Yep, right down your throat. We call it an ET tube. This tube then connects to a very complicated and fancy machine. That is your mechanical ventilator. Just one patient takes a team to connect to that mechanical respirator. Doctors, nurses, and a respiratory therapist are all involved. Before they even think about putting on a tube, they have to give the patient medications to sedate and relax the muscles. Because if you think about it, if you were awake and somebody was trying to put a tube down your throat, you would probably gag and try to pull it out. Those mechanical ventilators then take over, doing your breathing for you. A mechanical ventilator can control a lot of different variables. It can control the amount of volume of air you're getting through the tube. It can control the rate of the breaths you're getting. So you're probably thinking now, this sounds really complicated. And it is. This is why it takes such a team to be able to effectively ventilate these patients. Patients require constant monitoring. And that's part of the reason so many hospitals are struggling to keep up staffing to meet the demands during this coronavirus outbreak. Now, mechanical ventilation also is not without risks. Everything from infection to the risk that they won't be able to breathe on their own when they take the tube out. The best way to avoid needing intubation or being hooked up to a ventilator? Follow the current shelter in place orders. Keep your distance. And don't forget, washi washi the handsy handsy. Reggie Aki, ABC7 News.